In this video, I want to show you one way to organize a product catalog using WordPress posts. Now, there are lots of different ways you could do this, and there are lots of options in WordPress, including custom post types. You could create a custom post type called products, and it would show up here in the sidebar as a separate entity. But to keep things very simple, for the average small website using a shopping cart system, it's very simple to do it just using out-of-the-box elements in WordPress, like posts. Posts are the perfect entity for this because you can categorize them. So, for example, we would go in, first of all, and create some categories. Now, let's think about this ahead of time. And this kind of planning is very important. Let's say, for example, I want to have a blog on my website. So I've got a store is one element, but I want to have a blog as well. Well, you're going to want to use posts for your blog and not just for your store. So how do we separate all of that? Well, of course, there's one built-in category in all WordPress setups. There has to be one to start with. And they always give it the name uncategorized in the hopes that people will go, hey, I better name this properly. So let's name this. We're going to rename it, and we're going to call this one blog. So this is going to be where we're putting our blog eventually. We're not going to actually do it in this particular example, but I just want you to see how we want to organize things. So I update that, and now we've got blog. Now what we could do is create a new category called, let's call it store. Don't have to worry about slug, that will automatically get filled in. We hit add new category, and now we've got store. So what you want to think of is everything that belongs in the blog will go under blog. Everything for the store goes under store. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create subcategories within store. Now here at Dish Belief, we sell bowls and we sell plates. So let's create a plates category. Now we have to choose the parent here is store. Okay, so this is how we're separating out the posts within our setup here in WordPress. So there's store, plates is now underneath it. Let's go and do bowls. All right, again, it's already saying store there. It'll keep doing that until you change the parent. And I add new category, which is handy because you might want to do a whole lot of these at one time. Right now, we're just doing these two subcategories, bowls and plates. Now, I could go in and say serving platters. This is going to be a subcategory of plates. So I add that in. And now I'm going to do, let's say, soup bowls. And that's going to be a subcategory of bowls. Now we're getting our structure for our whole store. Now, why have we done it this way? Well, very quickly, I could just simply put the category store on my menu, and it would pull up absolutely everything underneath here. Bowls, soup bowls, plates, serving platters, doesn't matter. They're all part of store. Blog is going to remain a totally separate area of the site, if you want to think of it that way. And we can do this very, very simply through our categorization. So now what we do when we go to add a new post, basically right now we want to add some products to our store. I'm just going to close down format here because we don't need that particularly. I could also, by the way, just take it off completely. If I go to screen options here, take off format, just so it doesn't get in our way. So there's our categories and there's our store categories there. Let's say I'm going to create a bowl right now. And I'm going to call this the red stripe bowl. Give it its title. And now what I do is I give it a little bit of information. This is a great bowl if you like red stripes. Now we want to add in our image. So I'm just going to put my cursor right at the beginning there. And I click my upload insert. And I'm going to select my files here. So I open it up here and I find my Dish Belief main folder and I go into here, Dish Belief images, kitchen stuff, 
And now we find our bulls, and I think I have a red stripe bull right here. There we go. So it's going to upload for me. Notice it's 800 wide. I don't need a big one here. We're going to leave the link URL as it is, okay? Because we're going to have a plugin later that will produce nice pop up galleries for us. Okay, so we leave the link URL, that's the URL to the full sized image. And we're going to give it an alignment of left. We want it to the left of all the text. And medium would be good, 300 wide. That's perfect. We insert into post. And there we go. We're ready to publish. Now notice that I'm doing this piece by piece, right? I'm going to add the image as I go in here. You could theoretically go to your media library, add new, and you could select all of your bowls and your plates, put all of your images in at one time so that they show up here in the media library, okay? The problem with that is that you would then have to go and attach. Notice how this is attached to red stripe bowl. You'd have to stop and go and attach each of them to their particular post. Whereas it's much simpler as you're adding each of the posts, as you're adding your new bowls, your new plates, you put your image as you go. And the reason you want them attached to that post is for later on, if you want to create what are called image galleries, and we'll talk about that as well as we go along, if it's not attached to this post, then it won't show up in its particular gallery. So there you have it. There you've got a way of organizing your store as part of your whole website using built-in posts with WordPress.